These are the assembly instructions for my running shoe. So I'm starting with these two strips. So both of these pieces have jagged tabs on the bottom. And I'm just putting glue from the score line on this tab right to the edge of my piece. And then I'm just gluing these two pieces together. I want this to be a continuous line. And then I'm going to fold down on all the tabs at the bottom. And for the little jagged tabs, I want to minimize the transition between these shapes so that it looks smooth when I'm gluing it in. So I'm just taking my bone folder and just pushing the tabs inwards. Give it a nice smooth finish. So I'm doing it for both of these groupings. So I have two soles, so I'm going to take the one that has the pen markings on it. The other one is going to be put aside for now. So as I'm looking at my sole, you'll see that there's the longest straight bit on my sole is here. You can see there's a little teeny notch here, a little corner. So that'll be the top of that straight edge. So as I take my piece, I'm looking for the longest straight edge, which is pretty much in the middle of my piece. And I'm just going to glue that in there. So I'm putting glue all along that straight tab and I'm positioning it not at the line that's drawn, but at that little corner. And I want the edge of my sole piece to be right on the score line on that strip. I'm just gonna take my bone folder and reinforce that. So now I have this curved piece, which is pretty much a perfect curve as you pull it around. And then there's a little bit of a notch here and that's where this tab begins. So you wanna pull that in and then there's another notch here and then a very obvious one right here. Finally, there's one here. So I'm just skipping these jagged tabs and I'm putting glue all along these tabs. making sure that those jagged tabs are at the bottom. And then I'm placing my tabs down onto my sole and I'm making sure that that score line hits right where those little corners are. So where my sole starts changing direction, it just follows along. And then I have my tab at the end here. I'm gonna put glue from the score line to the edge. And then I'm curving my piece with all those little jagged Tabs all the way around until it reaches that tab. And then I'm going to flip my piece over. I'm putting glue all on the underside of those tabs on the toe of my shoe. And I'm folding them onto my sole. I'm going to flip it over. I'm just going to make sure that the vertical piece is contouring the edge of my sole, like so. And then you're going to do the same thing for the heel. I'm pulling all of those jaggedy tabs away from my heel. I'm putting glue on every single one of them. I'm folding them back onto the bottom of my shoe. And then I'm using my bone folder Make sure that that glue takes and then I, that my edges are following the curves of my heel. All right, so next I'm going to work on the sides of my shoe. So I have the right and the left hand side. So that score line is just for placement. So I'm going to glue my two pieces together at the heel. And then I'm folding on the score lines at the bottom and taking my sole piece and I'm curving my side pieces. I want the side of the base of my shoe to be right up against that score line all the way around. So I want them to be the same, more or less the same distance from the top of the shoe. So I'm just putting glue on all those jagged tabs. And then I'm inserting my piece so that the side on the left and the right are more or less even applying pressure so that that glue takes. And I want it to shape it so that, that so that score line follows exactly the edge of that black piece. I have my hand on the inside pushing those tabs down and I have my thumb on the outside just making sure 
but the bottom follows along that score line. And now I'm just putting glue all along that tab on the right hand side of my shoe. So you just want your edge of that black piece to follow the score line on the white piece. And I'm doing that on the other side as well. So once they're glued in, you want to just sort of curve your pieces so that the bottoms practically touch, but the outer edges are further away from one another like so. So this is the front of my shoe. I'm just folding down on all the score lines. And then I'm going to use my Cricut scraper tool and I'm just going to use it to help me bend back those little tiny triangles. So I have four of them. And the point is probably the hardest part to get right. So next I'm putting glue on those triangles. It's just a sliver of a triangle. And then I'm putting glue all along those tabs at the bottom. And then this is going to go at the front. Those lines that are on the base are just to guide me, to show me more or less where I need to glue down the front of my shoe. So the back, the back of this piece is more or less even with those two demarcations that are on the bottom of my shoe. So I just want my the black part to go along the score line, just like I did for the back piece. So I'm applying pressure. I've got my hand inside and I'm applying pressure from both sides to make that glue take and to help shape the front of my shoe. And if it takes too long and you have to put fresh glue, then definitely a good idea. So next I have the side. So this version has the stripes. And I have score lines on those green pieces to show me exactly where to place my stripes. So I'm just going to glue those down. I highly recommend using a scoring stylus for positioning lines. Because of the nature of the wheel versus the, the stylus, the stylus makes a nice, neater job of outlining the shape where you have to position your piece. So for fold lines, I prefer a scoring wheel, and for positioning lines, I prefer a scoring stylus. I'm going to put glue all along the underside of it. So on the first one, I glued this piece down while it was still flat before I had attached it to the sole. And for this one, I'm going to do it while it's in position, just to see which one works better with the curving of this piece and positioning those little holes on top of one another and it automatically puts the rest of my piece right exactly where I need it. I have a trim piece that fits here for the shoelaces. I'm just putting glue on the underside. You should dry fit this one before you put it in place just to make sure that you have the right one because there are two of them. So I'm putting glue on the underside of it. And then I have a trim piece that I'm going to put in the interior. So I'm just putting glue on the underside of this rectangle. Now this is the long rectangle, not the short one. Positioning it at the heel to hide those jagged tags. And then I have this piece. Now this piece has a little bit of a curve to the top of it. So I'm just putting glue on the underside of it. And then I'm just gluing it down. I want it to follow the curve at the top, follow the bottom here, and I want it sort of hiding that seam between those two pieces, as you would find on a regular running shoe. And then I have the tongue. I'm pulling that score line upwards like so. I'm putting glue from the score line to the edge. And then I'm positioning this piece so that it's between these two score lines on the toe of my shoe. I have my shoelace. Now this is some craft cord. I have no idea where I picked this up. <laughs> this is one of those things I just saw and had to have. Um, 
you could use actual shoelaces you can use um, a nice thick craft cord something like that so I'm just threading them through very simply I've cut my cord at approximately 40 inches long knotting it making a bow so I'm going inside and on the tongue of my shoe So on that neon green flap, on that lime green flap, I'm just putting two glue spots and then I'm positioning it so that it slants upwards. Then I'm going to flip my piece over and I have this piece, so this is the mirror image of my sole and I've embossed this using the Sizzix 3D embossing folder and I'm just going to glue this to the bottom of my running shoe.